Okay, so let, let's now take a look at the question number 3. So what is it? Place the formula in column C to display the date of each transaction. So we need to display the date from the column C and it should be in this format D D M M Y Y Y Y and it contains in B we already have something like this but in C we should display the format of the date in this format okay so let's start so if you see here it is in this format and we need to make convert this into this format in the date of transaction so we have to use the function call as equal date and then for the year so first we have to use the this is for the year that is b5 so we can see here b5 we use the function write and then how many need we need four okay so that's why b5 minus four because it is 2018 then for this is the month so meet three comma two so we start from three and then we need two values from here so me 3 comma 2 and from the left again we need 2 so when we do this we get this format okay so let's copy this and paste it here in the date of transaction ah, so we get in this format so now but according to the question we need to change our format to this one so 12 January 2018 so this should be the format so for this we have to change the format so we go down here to date and we convert the date to the UK United English United Kingdom and we select this one to make the format as given in the question paper okay so this is what we did and then just drag and copy So this is what we got okay so next let's take a look at the next we are done with question number three now take a look at question number four so place formula in check the calculated check digit column to calculate the single digit check charm by adding all the digits in the account number column and extracting the last digit from this total so this is a calculation so we need to calculate and then check the digits so let's just see how to do it so this is the account number so we need to calculate this account number we need to add all the numbers one by one and then we will have to put the right number okay as a in the calculated check digit column so we are going to calculate here so we need the right so that's why we have to use the right function but to calculate all this so we can use this function meet e5 1 comma 1 so this is the first one which is here 0 meet e2 comma 1 then we will get the 1 meet e5 3 comma 1 we will get number 9 so so on we will get starting from 0 1 9 5 Two five five four seven. We are going to add all, and after that we will display the the last from the right. Whatever number comes, we will display the right number, and we are going to multiply by one so that it becomes an integer value. Okay, so it might look quite longer, but if you understand, it's not tough. We just add all the numbers and we display the right number and we multiply by 1 so that it is an integer value. So I will copy and paste. So this is the calculated. I paste it here and enter. So here we get 8. So it, there is a match between 8 and 8. Okay. So let's drag and copy it down. Okay, so this is done. Now it says that 
place formula in working one column to compare the transmitted and the calculated check digit. So we need to compare the both columns transmitted and the calculated check digit in working one. If there is any mistake we need to correct the error. So let's see how to do it in working one. So when you go to working one we have to use this. If F5 not equal to G5 then we will display a error, a mistake. But if it is same there will be a blank space. Okay. So this is the conditional function we have to write and we will just copy and paste it over here. So we will drag and copy since it is same 8 and 8 so we don't see any error so it is correct. So let's see do we have any error? Yes so we have one error here because the value here is 6 and here is 4 ok. So there are mistakes so in order to make it correct we just change this 6 to 4 we, when you make it 6 to 4 then the error will disappear here from here so now we don't have any error in this column in the working one column we don't see any error so what was the formula it was if f5 not equal to g5 then we will display an error but if it is correct there is nothing no message it will be blank okay so this was so this is done and then evidence so if you have to do the evidence so let's see what it has to do evaluate the use of this function so this is about the writing so from this here you don't need to uh, worry about the writing questions so the writing questions are not included anymore in the practical paper so let's take a break